For sneak peeks and behind the scenes stuff, consider becoming a patron. You can find more info in the video description. I used exactly 20 millimeters of 20 gauge high quality wires, soldered to the battery connectors and covered with heat shrink after weighing. Each pair of wires weighs approximately half a gram. The BT 2.0 is the lightest of the bunch, at 0.6 grams for both the male and female connectors. The XT30 connector weighs three times more, at 1.8 grams. The weight of a set of GNB27 is 0.8 grams. In order to draw a constant current through these connectors and log all the necessary data, I am using a CPA. The CBA4 is a computerized and automated battery power analyzer. It comes with software to control the device and plot the test data, but it can also be operated through scripts. As a power source I am using my 1200 watt adjustable power supply, and my custom DC to DC converter with data logging capability. With this setup I can log what goes in, and what comes out of the battery connectors during the tests. I am also logging temperature data from the surface of each connector, so I can measure the temperature delta from start to finish. The same gear was used in my first battery connector comparison, where I had tested a few variations of the PH2 connector, the JST, BT2 and XT30 connectors. Make sure you watch that video too, if you haven't already. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Bring your ideas to life with their PCB and manufacturing prototyping services. You can find out more at the end of the video. Based on the performance of the BT2 in the previous tests, I decided to run tests with a bigger range this time. This is why I tested the BT2, the GNB27, and the XT30 connectors at 1S and 2S voltages, and at a constant current draw of up to 17 amps. Each test was ran multiple times. The data you will find in the comparison charts is an average of the overall performance for each battery connector. The tested connector is the only variable, and everything else remains the same. The starting temperature was 25 degrees Celsius, and each test run took 170 seconds to complete. The connectors were allowed to cool down, before running the test again. Thank you.
My takeaways from the second round of tests. For something like a Tiny Hawk 2, which flies on both 1S and 2S, but does not have a high current draw, I will keep on using the BT 2.0 connector. It was a hassle and an expense to swap connectors on most of my batteries for the Tiny Hawk, and the performance difference does not justify going through this again. But if I were to choose now, I would go straight for the GNB27 connector. As for more powerful 1S and 2S micros, the GNB27 connector is definitely the way to go. It performs great, it is easy to handle and weighs less than half of an XT30 connector. I recommend to avoid using adapters from one connector, for example PH2, to another, for example GNB27. Based on my first round of tests, it adds extra weight without a performance increase. It is a convenient and affordable way to use your existing batteries, but it does not perform well. Another important thing to note is the types and brands of batteries that are available with each connector. Beta FPV batteries have never worked well for me personally, while GNB batteries have performed great almost always. Other brands also have batteries with a BT 2.0 and GNB 27 in their product range, and I hope even more decide to use them as demand increases. Upgrading the battery connector after the fact can cost a significant amount, compared to buying batteries with the exact connector you want, so this is definitely a factor that can, and should, affect your decision. The XT30 definitely remains the go-to connector for anything above 2S, or even for bigger 2S builds, where the extra 1 gram isn't worth the lesser performance of the other two connectors. This kind of videos may be short in length, but they require a lot of hard work and time-consuming processes in order to get done right. If you found this video useful, support my efforts and subscribe for more interesting content like this one. You can tip my piggy bank, join my Patreon, or shop using the links below. Every little bit helps a lot. ECB Way is the place to go for your electronics and manufacturing prototyping. Create your own standard, advanced and flex rigid PCBs, order a completely finished board with their assembly service, or even let them design it for you from scratch. PCBs start from $5 for 10 pieces. Register now for a $5 welcome bonus. Check the links in the video description.